In uh, one of my last videos, I went over uh, keyboard macros and playback macros and, and how they can help you get through a job faster. We also have what is called alternative keyboards. There is a uh, school of thought that says if you keep your fingers on the home row and uh, of your keyboard, and the home row is uh, the one that has the letters A, S, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, colon and quote, and if you keep your fingers on that and don't have to take it off and move it, your mouse around, that you're going to get through a transcript a heck of a lot faster. Um, I've got a sample um, from a client who was on a different software and learned this method uh, before coming to Procat and um, asked if we would uh, help her out on that and, and uh, one of our um, agents did that and created an alternative keyboard for her and uh, gave me a copy as well. So I'm going to use this as an example of what you can uh, do within the winner, uh, within the editor to make your process go faster. Um, I clicked on the keyboard macro editor over here on the left side of our uh, small row of buttons and this is showing alternative keyboard one and I'll show you what that looks like in the editor here in a second and in here it shows all the um, macros that are available for this alternative keyboard most of the ones that say space, space H are the ones that were um, originally the ones that were being used for this theory of keeping your fingers on the home row the others that don't say um, space are just ones that I was practicing with and, and uh, playing with. The cool thing about this is you can print this out so you know what they're going to be doing. I have also created a, a template based on the space uh, plus whatever letter um, that I'll be posting later as well as this alternative up in our uh, MyProCat room so those of you on support will have access to this. Um, so now I'm going to go into the editor I've already got something open. I'm going to go to the top. And here down here is where your alternative keyboards are. If you've not used these before, it'll probably just say Procat Keyboard. I'm going to go to the alternative keyboard because that's where I, the macros were made and stored. Um, so with my hand on the, uh, the home row, and the concept is using the space bar and a key, to move around to initiate some of the uh, macros that we've uh, created. So the first thing we do is make sure that our spacebar is enabled. So we're going to click on, or we're going to hit Control M to go into Preferences, and that takes us directly to Keyboard Macros, and make sure there's a check mark in Spacebar Macros Enabled, and also, of course, Keyboard Macros Enabled. Oops. All right. So one of the first one, one of the first ones that I have here that I'll just show you real quickly is um, going to the next scan stop. So I'm basically hitting uh, the spacebar and my macro for my next stop scan. And the stop scans are the squiggly braces and the at symbols. So I can quickly move there without having to take my hand off and hitting F7. Kind of cool. Alright, I'm going to hit that again, go to the next one, and that will take me to the next scan stop, which was the at symbol. Now, one of the things, too, here, now, I don't want to take my cursor, my, my fingers off uh, my home row and go up here and have to click on add. So what do I do? Well, from the keyboard, I can hit Alt-A, Alt-A, and it'll bring up my my window here where I can type something in. So let's say I want to type in, and I'm just making this up. Oops. Alright, and then I'm going to hit Alt-O. If, if you notice here on the OK button, the O is underlined. If that's underlined, if I hit the Alt and that key, it will do that uh, action as if I clicked on it with my mouse. So here it goes, Alt-O. All right, now I want to replace at court with Lisa's court. And I'm going to say 
Alt R. And there it is. Um, I can also move up Alt U, uh, spacebar U. I can move to the left, spacebar I. I can move down, spacebar J, to the right, spacebar K. All right. I can also move to the end of the line, spacebar L. I want to do a search, so I'm going to hit spacebar F. And I'm going to search for the, which we know is there, and Alt F to find next. And there it is. If I have a conflict and I want to always choose the first one, in this case this is what it's asking for, I'm going to hit Alt A, excuse me, spacebar A chooses the first conflict. I want to highlight the word to the left, spacebar S. Was this just a space? Now let's say I want to delete it, spacebar D. Sorry, I didn't hit that in time. It is you will have to get used to the spacebar uh, combo thing, like I just um, did that goof there. And I'm going to search for the next and the next. All right, I'm going to go to the next one. I want to actually find one, so I'm going to go down real quick here. So I'm hitting spacebar. And down. I'm actually holding down the space bar because I'm hitting this fast enough to get down to the um, the body of this. So I'm going to do a search for the next scan stop. In this case, an untranslate. I've messed with this pro with this one just a little bit here, and I'm going to say I want this to go into globals. So I'm going to hit uh, space bar G, space bar G again, so that I, w I can pick up those two. And in this window, I want this to go to the job dictionary. So I'm going to hit Alt J for it to go into the job dictionary because the J had the underscore. So if you get to knowing these things and where they are, you can see how you can move pretty rapidly through <coughs> through a document. Uh, the cool thing about this is if at any time you just really wanted to start typing in, you can do that without having to worry about the space bar or anything like that. So again, I'm going to go ahead and post these up. The, uh, the Alternative Keyboard 1 template, also the Keyboard Macro um, template as well. Now, as a word of warning, if you already have created macros in your regular keyboard, by downloading this Alternative Keyboard, it will overwrite those. It will leave the, the winner macros alone, but the other ones will be overwritten. Um, if you want to give this a whirl, I would suggest backing up your configurations first. This will take this KB macro I and I and um, uh, save it to a different place. If you need to know how to do a backup, please see my video on archiving, also available up on YouTube. So I hope this helps, and I hope some of you give give a a, a try to this. Um, hopefully, we'll get some feedback from Sue Campana, who is the um, inspiration for this, and. Um, you know, tell us how it works for her. Thanks, and I'll see you in my next video.